What are the main features of the American model for protecting religious freedom? Well, as I tried to show in my lecture, uh, it's clear that you have, the U.S. have had for some years a clear model in mind for the promotion and protection of religious freedom in their own foreign policy. So, one of the main features uh, of the U.S. model is really the creation of an institutional machinery and bureaucracy for the protection uh, of freedom of religion in U.S. foreign policy. And this bureaucracy uh, comprehends the U.S. Commission on International for Religious Freedom, a U.S. Ambassador for Freedom of Religion, uh, an Office for Religious Freedom uh, based at the State Department, and several other kind of smaller institutions and, you know, the creation of special reports for the protection of religious freedom. So I think this kind of feature has really been the most important feature, the kind of institutionalized and well-organized machinery that has influenced also legislation in third countries. What are the main challenges to religious freedoms nowadays? Well, uh, this is uh, crystal clear from uh, even from the newspaper that we read every day. There is uh, an increasing uh, trend of uh, violation and uh, of the right to religious freedom and an increasing trend of religious persecution uh, all over the world, especially in certain parts of the world. And of course, the obvious case would be some Middle East, uh, Middle East countries where, you know, you can really risk your life depending on what you believe. Uh, and therefore, uh, there is a lot to be done globally for a better protection of uh, the right to freedom of religion and belief. Has the American model succeeded in protecting religious freedom? Well, <laughs> if you look at the data, uh, you would say no, uh, because there has been an increasing, as I said just a few seconds ago, there have been increasing violations of the right to freedom of religion and belief. The U.S. model has succeeded, succeeded probably in a way in the sense that it has uh, raised the concern and made more countries aware of the fact that more needs to be done for the protection of freedom of religion and belief. But what the data tell us is that, I mean, empirically, I mean, there has not been a decrease of the violations at the global level.